I'm going to be making a video on how to remove the lid from a Panasonic CFTA Tough Book. That'll, this is cracked here, so we're going to remove this piece first and then we're going to assume or pretend that this is broken and you bought a new one and you want to replace it. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, let me show you the screws that we're going to be removing. There are two under this little flap here. There's one on each side, one here and one on the other side, and then there's also one of this, uh, one of these on the other side as well. These are the hinge covers, I suppose you'd want to call them. Then we have, let me pop this open. We have this is a uh, this is my parts unit I used for uh, demonstration purposes here at the shop. Um, under these two rubber bumpers here, let's see if I can focus in. Any day now, and maybe not. Anyways, there's a rubber bumper there and a rubber bumper right here. Under there and under there, there's two screws. So we have a total of eight screws that we're going to remove. We're going to need, I use a small flat that's to remove the bumpers on the inside of the LCD, a number zero. Phillips head screwdriver with a magnet, a plastic pry tool or plastic spudger could be purchased on Amazon or eBay. Um, I'm also going to be using a suction cup to be placed here to help with the removal of the lid. So just put it right to the edge there. Push down, lock it in. So let me put you on the tripod and we'll start. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna remove the screws. I already put my suction cup on there just because, I mean, I don't know why. Here we go, move that out of the way. So we're gonna remove these screws here. I prop it open so that, you know, it doesn't wobble around on you. Knock that out of the way. Move this, there's this little metal Let's see if you can see that on the palm of my hand there that little piece there that goes it only fits on one side so keep them together I like to keep the the right hinge cover on the right side you know remove that one this one's got a broken piece already like I said this is my parts unit so remove the little screw holding the lid on there remove the hinge cover from the left side of the unit Screw there, cap, and the little silver part. Okay, now that we have those on, all off of there, we're going to move on to removing these two here. So this is where I use my flathead. Just get under there, remove it, push down, get it to stick on there. Let's just put those aside. There we go. These are on there pretty tight, so... I've removed these a lot of times, so mine are pretty easy compared to what yours will be. If That is, if you're removing it just for the first time as well. Uh, so, set those aside, close the lid. Open this little flap. Remove those two silver screws. Okay, remove that. go now that'll allow us to lift up as soon as here I'll bring you down here so you can see what I'm doing let me zoom out so all right let me zoom out so I lose the there we go so you're gonna want to lift up just a little bit and slide towards you we don't want to break these clips okay break those in this case, it doesn't matter if you would have broken them because, well, this is broken. But if it's not broken, these slide into these slots here and hold it down. This is where your WWAN card goes. You'll obviously have it if you have it. If not, don't worry about it. So, here we go. I'm going to show you just what I'm going to do and then I'm going to put you back up. So, we're just going to put the spudger alongside. Let's see if we can... There's clips in here. See that? I don't know if you can see that. 
but there's a little little clips every every so many inches or every inch or whatever so we're going to remove those let me uh put you back up there real quick okay um put the suction the suction cup on there go it's got a good suction now <clears throat> i start on the back of the unit you can start wherever you want just kind of push down and lift up on pull up on the suction cup and then move on to one of the sides here while still pulling up it'll want to fall back into place be careful once you pop off the side don't just yank on it because you'll rip run a chance of ripping the video cable that is attached to the lid so there we go get that suction cup out of the way we're gonna flip this over and here's that video cable see it runs at an angle so now we have to remove that connection let me bring you down here so I can show you how we're gonna do that okay let me zoom out and then come in so I'm just gonna take sorry it's all shaky okay I'm just gonna come in with my plastic spludger or pry tool, whatever you want to call it, one side at a time. Okay, and then that's it. It's out. So now you can grab on, lift up on it a little bit, and grab onto this plastic. Remove it, and there you go. Your lid is off, and now you can go ahead. Wow, that is way out of focus. All right, there we go. Kind of better, not really. There we go. So now you could replace this if it was broken with your new new lid. And then, you know, just reverse the steps to go ahead and put it back on. You just go ahead, connect that cable. Okay, so you're going to connect this cable. And then just stick it. Stick it back on. Flip it over, push down on it with some force. Put this back on and put your screws on, and there you go. You've, at that point, you've successfully replaced your broken lid on a Panasonic CF-T8. Thanks for watching.